Jin Jin Jin, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Coinface.com, man. Listen, your boy is back, man. All right, so today we got a topic, right? The topic is gonna be about pretty much, you know, working corporation, a large business enterprise, right? Working in a startup, up and coming company, pretty young, or working in small businesses. Right? What's the difference, right? All right, so let's say an enterprise, right? Let's say a company like Macy's or Google, even Google, right? Number one, you gotta understand, you're only a number in there. In reality, there's like 5,000 developers, so pretty much if you're not there that day, you won't be missed. Nobody's gonna be looking for you. Of course, maybe your project manager is gonna be like, hey, what happened to Joe? He was supposed to come in today and do his presentation. But most likely, in the big picture, nobody gives a damn. So that's a, a, a large corporation. Plus, also too, you gotta think about like situations where like they keep track of you, they give you an ID card, they keep track of what time you get to work, what time do you leave, how long does it take for you to take a lunch break, what time do you come back to lunch, you know. Most of the time you gotta wear a suit. Me, I'm not that type of person. I've worked in those type of environments and I don't feel comfortable. I don't wanna come into an office constantly with a shoe and a tie and with a stick up my, you know what. Like, I don't wanna be that guy. You know, I'd rather just be myself and be more comfortable and, you know, come into work however I feel like it because I'm there to just code, program, that's it. That's what I'm really doing. That's the reality of things, right? Let's talk about a startup. A startup is good, but a problem that it has is that it's a startup. Hey, we're gonna hire you and we want you to work here for six to 12 months and in 12 months, we're gonna renew your contract. Next thing you know, the company goes under in three months. Now, you don't have enough money to pay your rent. You don't have enough money to feed your family. Do you really want to be in situations like that, right? The positives are it. They might give you stocks or they'll tell you they're going to give you some stocks, you know, once the company becomes big. But it's like a gamble, man. Like sometimes you, you're just gambling and be like, hey, let's see what the dice gives me. Is the company going to be around for 12 months? Do you really believe in, in the project? or the product that they're trying to sell. Sometimes you have to choose what exactly do you really want. I mean, for me, one of the pros is that startup, most of the time people come in just like this. Of course, without the fitting, but this is just business casual. Like you come in, do your work, nobody bothers you, and that's it, everything's sweet. Most of the time it's young people in the company. One of the worst things is when you work in a company, it's like a whole bunch of old guys that don't know what's going on, but they want to tell you what to do. Like, bro, like, you're still trying to code in like Pascal and B language and, and C, like who does that anymore? Anyways, yeah, so you save yourself from those situations in, in, in startups. And a lot of times they pay you a lot of money. They might come in and be like, hey, we got $100,000 for you. You know, money makes the world go around. You gotta decide to see what type of person you are. You know what I mean? Like if you're actually more of an enterprise where you know, you have everything more secure, which is something that I didn't talk about. In enterprise, you actually have a security behind you. Pretty much say, hey, I know this company's been around for 50 years. I know they're gonna pay me $80,000. I got full benefits. I got the whole shebang, right? And I know that if I'm stay here and I do my job, I'm, I could actually be here for the rest of my life. You know, that's what happens a lot of time when you choose an enterprise, right? Now, let's talk about small businesses. Small businesses is, you know, your mom and pop shops, right? Meaning, like, let's say somebody has a eBay store, right? And now they're realizing that the eBay store is actually selling a lot, a lot of products. And they're like, you know what? How about we create our own e-commerce website? So then that's where you come in. You get hired for that. Most of the time, you're not gonna get paid as much as you will get paid in an enterprise company. Most of the time, you're not gonna get paid as much as you will get in a startup. But in a small business, you're more, it's more friendlier. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could actually go to dinner with the owner. Uh, if you have kids, your kids play together. Whenever something happens, like, you know, they take care of you. But the cons of it, there's a big con. Get that much money for it. Also, too, you don't get no benefits. Most of these companies can't afford benefits. So what they do is they tell you, hey, listen, we're going to, you know, give you a little more extra money 
but you have to get your own benefits on your own time. For some people that's good, for some people that's bad. If you have any type of sicknesses or diseases or any history in your family, it's not good for you because now you don't have no benefits, no health insurance, no life insurance, nothing. But it's up to you. Everybody's totally different. Me, personally, I prefer startups. Either startups or small business. I don't, I don't like working in enterprise companies because you're just a number. I'd rather just be myself and, and get to be Joe Santos instead of number ID 234417. I don't want to be that guy. Yes, it's secure, but is it really worth it? Now, nah, you tell me that. Anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And make sure you subscribe. Your boy is back, man. Leave a comment, man. I want to know what do you guys actually prefer? You know, I love enterprise, startups, or small businesses. Let me know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Dah.